Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today, I'm gonna to be doing the second random nouns where I take two nouns and I try to come up with some sort of logo design slash illustration based on these random nouns that are generated. And this is a logo design technique. I did this uh, about a week or two ago as well and it was ridiculous. And I just got done recording the one you're about to watch and I, I crack a few inappropriate jokes and it's a fun video and the end result is actually pretty good based on the nouns that were generated. And those are chin P. So, all right, uh, check out designcourse.com and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I'm here at this random noun generator. I can specify how many random nouns I want. So I'm using two. I'm going to hit generate, act jogging. See, that doesn't really make sense. I mean, to act, that doesn't even seem like a noun. So I'm going to just do another one. I want, I want these to be literally tangible objects. So I'm going to generate again, comma, trick. See, what is a, tr can you get a trick? Like that's not a physical object, damn it. Chin. P. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have to go with this. Okay. Chin P. All right. Let's go file new. And uh, let's leave it there. Actually, I'm going to go file new and uh, take this down. Actually, all I could do is go to document setup, edit artboards, and scale is down and in. All right, that's better. All right, so chin P. All right. Let's uh, think of something here. I'm just going to take out the pen tool and come up with a rough shape of sorts. Maybe I'll use the ellipse tool actually for this. So I'm just gonna draw out an ellipse and this will serve for, well, we're gonna have a butt chin basically, I'm thinking, kind of like how I have one. And I want one of them to be bigger, kind of like cartoonish. And I want to do another ellipse over here. Um, so if I go out, Take these. Yeah, I think maybe roughly, maybe right around there will be good. And I take all three layers just by selecting them like that. And then come over here to the Shape Builder tool. I can, one second, take all these. There we go. Holding shift and all, and then select them all of them, and that will merge them onto the same path. All right. So this is essentially a head, which I'm not going to show. Uh, maybe I'll only do it up to a certain point. And yeah, I think that'll be fine. And then um, what I'll do is come over here and just drag around this top portion and then hit control shift D, which will basically do the same thing as by going to object path, divide objects below. And I can select this top portion and get rid of it. All right, so this is our chin port, part, port, part. I just woke up recently. And all right, so we still wanna make this identifiable as a actual chin, of course. Um, so maybe I'll give it a skin color as well real quick. Um, so for the fill, let's come out here. I know this is kind of showing up off screen. Obviously nobody's orange like that. Maybe just like the skin color right around here. All right. <laughs> and I, uh, let's see what else I want to do. Yeah, I think maybe we'll have some hair on it. 
I'm going to focus on, on doing the actual P, though. So it's always a good idea to get a reference. I mean, I know what a chin looks like, so I don't have to get that. Um, I'm going to get that with the browser on the other side of the window. And I'm just going to put in P. I mean, I know what a P looks like as well. It's just like a green ball, but I just want to be certain. Because um, it does have like a little stem area portion. Like right there, it's like an indentation. Yeah, this is pretty simple. All right, so I'll come over here. You know, which side? Because I wasn't really thinking about having both of them have a P. Um, we'll see, though. Now, I'm not sure if I want this to have a, a black stroke, but we'll see. So let me come over here and choose a green color. Yeah, that'll work. And be nice to give this a <clears throat> sort of a highlight. All right, so first of all, let me see. Take this off real quick. Maybe we can give it a stroke, uh, except make it a dark green. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll experiment, see what it looks like at the end. All right, so now what I want to do, uh, I'm going to get rid of the stroke. I choose a light color. It'll come out right here. <laughs> oh man, this is silly. These are always going to be silly, like the last time. I forget what the last one was. It was ridiculous, though. All right, so I'm going to come down here and choose like a darker color. And maybe real quickly, I will come over here and I'll get this color here. And well, first I'm gonna take this shape because it's not a perfect sphere, uh, the P. So we'll go ahead and add an anchor point right here and maybe right here. And I take the one in the middle yeah, down just a tad bit. All right, and then uh, I don't like that color at all. Let me see here. Um, you know what, we just make it the same color as the stroke. Take the pen tool. We can just make this white, actually, I think. You know what? Maybe I won't do that. Alright, and I uh, let me think of what else I want to do. Um, I think having some thick hair, um, as if this guy has a beard or something, might make sense. So let me just draw a single line like that. But we want these to be kind of come out naturally. And we want them to be to be randomized, of course. So And 
And I may take the stroke thickness of these down just a tad bit. After I get these done. Oh, this is nasty. Almost looks like a pair of nuts. <laughs> oh, man. And not the type that you eat. Unless you're a porn star. <laughs> yeah, we could do some. Uh, I'll push the. I'll position these underneath the uh, P, the ones that go underneath it. We don't want any overlapping, obviously. Uh, over the P. Okay, so let me take these real quick. We'll position them uh, down at the bottom here. And now what I want to do is uh, we'll take the uh, magic wand tool and just select those, but hit shift and deselect the rest. And that way we can take down the stroke width of these. Um... Oh, these do not have a fill, so we get rid of that. These that's too thin right here, so Yeah, maybe right around there is good. And so let's see here, what else do I want to do? Um I wanna experiment with this again. I'm not happy with this. I think that's a little bit better right there. And then um, one thing I could do is come out and add a sort of shadow, I guess you could say, as if the light source were coming from the upper left. And I want to get rid of uh, the stroke here real quick. Hide that, and we'll make this one darker. All right. Actually, what I want to do real quick is hit Control H. That way we can see the points. And I'll bring this just above this portion. Adjust this real quick. And we'll be aligning it beneath this, of course. Come up right around here. Come up back, well, yeah, come up right around here. And then just uh, come up and around, right around there. We'll position this beneath almost everything, like that. All right, does that look okay? I think it might. Now, of course, we can always experiment with the color. I'm going to leave it that color for now, actually. And we'll come down here. Come up and around this circle area. And then position that against uh, beneath all the portions over here, like that. All right, and then I guess finally, uh, I don't want this line right here. So what I can do is take the Add Anchor Point tool. We'll first select it and Add Anchor Point, and just add it anywhere, and then hit Delete. And that will give us the intended effect. And then um, we could take the stroke and we could adjust the caps here. 
so that they're rounded at the end. Just gives it a nice look. And then also we'll get our magic wand, select all the hairs, and we'll do the same thing like that. So they're rounded. All right. And you, know, you may have some issues, like you see, like just barely um, in the center here, this little thing that looks bad. So you can just readjust this specific, well, if I can get access to it because it's beneath. There we go. All right. All right. And all right. So what I want to do is group that. Control C, Control F to save that. Uh, just duplicate it rather. And then, um, yeah, I only want one because I think two would be redundant. So what I can do now is if, this, if I'm happy with this, I can go ahead and go to uh, Object, Path, and Outline Stroke. So now everything's outlined. It's something that you could uh, give to printers or whatever. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to add in some text. Chin, chin peas. <laughs> All right, and then maybe a little bit bigger. And I have a font. That I know is rounded, station, medium. I think that's a free, it, that is a free font. And uh, let me go ahead and take this in real quick. And Control Shift and O will outline the object, which is the same thing. It's going to object path and um, actually. I forget where you get to that. I've always used AI. What do you call it? the keyboard shortcut? All right, and then right click, ungroup these, and I can just adjust the letter spacing here. All right, and then for the fun of it, we can also take these five objects and we can make them our color over here. And yeah. There we go. Pretty cool. So we kind of created a logo out of this uh, chin P word that we had to deal with over here. Yeah. So, yep. It's a good exercise just to experiment and see what you can come up with on the spot. So, yeah, uh, I do these every now and then, and uh, people seem to like them. So, yeah, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet, and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, goodbye.